Today, Governor Bashir announced there are now 680 confirmed cases of coronavirus in Kentucky and two more COVID-19 related deaths, bringing the death toll in our state to 20. Evening Edition's Mike Valenti was at the governor's daily briefing this afternoon, and he joins us now live from the Capitol with more on what we learned today. Mike. Yeah, Nancy, Kevin, there are days in that room where the air just feels a little heavier and today felt like one of those days. Of course, there were light moments. The governor makes sure to highlight some good news of the day. But for the most part, this was a pretty sobering news conference. Yesterday, the White House unveiled projections that showed even with full mitigation efforts, 100,000 to 240,000 people could die from coronavirus. Now, if you adapt that model for Kentucky, it shows as many as 3,200 deaths in the Commonwealth, despite full intervention. Bashir said his administration believes this model is a somewhat optimistic scenario. That's hard to stomach uh, when you look at, at at some of those numbers. Now, I don't want to I don't want to criticize uh, the White House for it because it has led them to take the steps uh, of extending their guidance out through April 30th, and that was a good move. Uh, but as we as we share our modeling, I think we, we, we it's fair to say that we think the danger is greater than this. Now, again, this isn't to scare you. This is just a projection. And as Dr. Anthony Fauci emphasized yesterday, we don't have to accept this as fact. As long as we practice these social distancing guidelines, we keep six feet apart and we make sure that we try to blunt this curve, we can save more lives.